All right, now you're gonna have this one done pretty quick. So you already played 60, 80, 100 today. Um, 120 was a bit of a struggle, so we'll demo that so you have a reference. So here it is at 120. One, two, one, two, three, four. Number two. So I think you got 16 and 80, if I remember correctly. So let's demo this at 100 and 120. One, two, three, four. Okay, number three. Let's um let's do this one at uh well four speeds that I was having to try tonight. Sixty. One, two, three, four. And number four. Sixty. One, two, three, four. Two in a row, goodness, sorry. One, two, three, four. For some reason, I was just not wanting to go down three strings for that little turnaround part. I just wanted to start doing it after the second string being played. 100, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four. Keep wanting to do the turnaround at the wrong point. Anyway, um, there we go. And yeah, for the seventh chord stuff, just run through them once or twice a day. When you get to this minor seven flat five, this is another you'll want to play without the bar because too much of a risk of hitting that seventh fret on the B string. So that note is not part of the chord and it's not in key either. So that minor seven flat five and that one, best to do it without the bar. And that major seven right there, same fingering as a minor seven flat five. It's just one fret difference, really. So holding it the same way, this one's just scrunched up. And I'll spread out a bit more. Okay. So yeah, let me know if any questions come up, and I'll see you next week.